Hello everyone. One of the challenge everybody face when they start with the cloud technology is to gain hands-on experience. If you're not part of an organization where they gave you access to the Azure or AWS portal, it is very difficult to get your hands-on experience. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create these free subscription using one with the credit card and one with the school or university email account. And I hope you find it useful. All right, so the first step is to search for free Azure subscription. Most often than not, you will be able to find the first link which describes about how you can create the free Azure subscription. So click on that. So before we jump ahead and create a free subscription, let me walk you through and let you know that what are the things comes with this free account. The first thing to notice in this free account is you will get $200 Azure credit only for 30 days. With that $200, you can pretty much create any service what you want, but make sure to turn off or deallocate these virtual machines so that it doesn't exhaust the credit what you have. So all the lab exercises I have in my training videos from AZ900 or AZ104, all of these labs can be performed with this free credit. And after the first 30 days, you can still enjoy some of the most popular service for the rest of the 12 months. So let me quickly show you what are the free services which you can gain after the first 30 days. If you scroll down, you can see that there are other popular services which you can use for another 12 months. You can run either Linux or Windows Virtual Machine. Gives you an ability to run a B1S bustable virtual machine for 750 hours, which is plenty enough for you to test any sort of virtual machine related task, backups, disk activity, IP configuration, VNet peering, etc. If you want to explore Microsoft Azure Pass service, and one of the popular Microsoft Azure Pass service is Azure SQL Database. This is fully managed database from Microsoft Azure. You can enjoy up to 12 months of 250 GB S0 instance with 10 database transaction units. This is really good for you to learn about how the Azure SQL Pass works and what are the features and functionalities comes with this native cloud service. Additionally, you get 5 GB of LRS Azure Blob Storage account. Azure Blob Storage accounts can be used for a variety of scenarios. So this is where you get to have a first-hand experience about how you can use these Blob Storage, how can you assign permission levels, what is Azure Blob Storage, SaaS keys, etc. Additionally, you get Azure Cosmos DB app service. You get 1 million requests worth of Azure functions and even grid, which you can use for 100,000 operations per month. So if you are a beginner and if you don't have any hands-on experience with Azure, I would highly encourage you to create a free Azure subscription. Let's go and create one right now. So right on top of the page, click on start free. The first step is if you don't have any Microsoft account, you can create one. Otherwise, put in your Microsoft account and log into your account. All right, so first time when you log into this account, it is asking you to create your profile. So make sure, to, so make sure to select the country where you are from, your first name, last name, your email address, and your phone number for any sort of verification. After that, put down your address details and click on I agree to customer engagement and privacy agreement and click next. The next step is to provide your credit card details. So Microsoft just keep this credit card just for verification. It doesn't cost you anything. Just put down your credit card details and verify that you own this card and you can start using these services and click on sign up. All right, looks like our account is created. It is redirected me to log in to this account again. So click on the account which you used to sign up for the free account and click on go to Azure portal. All right, that's how simple it is to create your free Azure subscription. Now on the left hand side, you can see all the popular services. You can use the search box to search for any Microsoft Azure services. You can modify the settings on this top ribbon bar to customize the look and feel of this portal. And if you do want to keep track on how much credit you have left, you can look at Azure cost management service. So type in Azure cost analysis. This is where you would be able to see your analysis on all the spendings and you can set up a budget or you can create alerts so that after a specific threshold, it alerts you that you are exhausting or you are nearing your credit limit. 
So that's one way of creating an Azure subscription. But what if, if you don't have a credit card or you don't have an access to a credit card yet and you are a student? And as a student, if you're learning Azure and you want to get hands-on, you can get a free student subscription as well. So let me show you how you can get that done. So search for free Azure student subscription. As you can see, there is a Azure for students free account option here. This is the portal. You can come in and click on start for free to create your free Azure subscription if you don't have access to a credit card. With this subscription, you get $100 of Azure free credit and you don't need access to a credit card. The only eligibility you need to have is you need to have a university or a school email address to sign up. And if you do want to retain this account, you do have to renew each year. So that means you still need to have access to the email account from the university or your school. So click on start for free, select the school email address. So put down your university's email address and reconfirm it. Since I don't have it, I won't be able to proceed further to show you how it's looked like. All right, so that's how you can create free Azure subscription, one with the credit card and another one with your school or university email address. I hope you find the information provided in this video useful. I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.